seas and ice coats the road. The chill between Baba and me thaws a little. And the reason for that is the kites. Flying kites and running them is undeniably the highlight of the cold season. It starts early in the morning on the day of the contest. Well, the Capital Center for the Arts is always looking for compelling works of theater that relate to social issues that might be interest of interest to people in the community. So when we came upon the Kite Runner in one of our trips to New York to look at works of art, it was just something that jumped right out to us. It was a very strong um, piece of theater that was done by a single actor, and we said, oh, this we have to bring to the Capitol Center. I have this rock pointed at your left eye. If you make a move, they'll have to change your nickname from Asif the Ear Eater to One-Eyed Asif. The students um, are involved in English and social studies with a core team of teachers who study um, the history and the English. Uh, they'll be reading books uh, we, based on the Kite Runner at this time. And then um, they're also studying the economics and the social aspect of it as well with the social studies teachers. Where the land is, how it's divided, who are the groups involved in that area, what are the religions involved in that area. So when they go into art, when they go into music, they have that history behind them so they can actually appreciate the fact that they're, you know, they're playing a Middle Eastern instrument or they're painting a Middle Eastern flag or Middle Eastern colors. They know a little bit more about the history behind what they're doing. to the world and, and it's not just you know social economic or whatever views and social studies it's it's cultural and and um, I, I think who better to kind of bring the the cultural aspects the art the music you know to life than you know we the the music and art teachers so we're integrated into these programs to, to help try to make that come alive and you know so the kids can uh, make those kinds of connections. We can talk about Afghanistan, and we can talk about um, the art, but when we have music in the room, we can actually bring the spirit of Afghanistan and the Middle East into that room. Ward, Ward, Bayan, Teen. All I'm doing is saying the downbeats that align up with the doom bells. The big goal is to make sure that all the students can experience a culture as in-depthly as we can without going there. The overarching goal, like every, every World Studies unit, is to, to see the kids see an entire culture, not just the history behind something or uh, the fact that a book was written about Afghanistan, but so they can appreciate every aspect of, of the culture. So that would be art, music, I know, economics, history, of course, uh, the literature, people, the food, um, its geographic relation to other countries. They make their own uh, opinions and judgments and so on and so forth, and then they had to create an artwork expressing how they feel about it. Everybody connects with people in different ways, and um, I think that's the beauty of it. What we're again looking at is the whole student, the whole entire school student body. How do we reach as many as we can? And we can do that through arts and through music, through poetry, uh, literature. The kids actually read The Kite Runner, they saw the movie The Kite Runner, and then they saw the performance of The Kite Runner. So there's three different, you know, three different uh, venues of, of that book. And so it was just a fantastic way to explore that. And the feedback we had from the kids, interesting enough, is after reading the book and seeing the movie, is that most of them, majority of them, preferred the actual performance, the live performance. The moment comes, I close my eyes, loosen my grip on the string. It slices my fingers again as the wind drags it. I think bringing a project like the Kite Runner to the Capitol Center is truly at the core of the mission of the Capitol Center because we really do want to stretch uh, children and adults who come and give them perspectives that they maybe haven't seen before. Give them an opportunity to step back and reflect about how this person's story might relate to their own life. <laughs>